do you think that it's worth the hype? Exceptional, it was amazing. It's the best meal that we had all trip. I know I said that last night when we went to Wine Bar George. Oh! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Disney's All Key West. It is midday right now. We've actually been up and out already today though. I forgot to bring my camera, but I did get a little bit of footage. Something to note, <laughs> Disney Springs opens at 10 a.m. and we were pulling up about three minutes before 10 a.m. and uh, the Lime Garage was not open. And as we pulled up, they said they would open the garage in three minutes. <laughs> So we had to like go and loop around, like come back and then the garage is open exactly at uh, 10 o'clock. Headed over to Gideon's Bakery. Now we have been trying to go to Gideon's Bakery a few times on this trip, but we just weren't willing to like hang around for three hours. And um, this morning it was just a standby line and it moved super quick. I think we only waited like five, 10 minutes outside. It is so cool inside. It's really well themed. Um, so that side of it like is pretty cool, like going in just for the experience of it. Um, we got a few cookies, which I'm gonna show you now and we're actually gonna try here. We haven't tried any of them yet, but what I have tried is the coffee that we got. So we got the nitro coffee and it was the peanut butter flavor because that's their most popular and I'd seen people recommend that as well. I actually asked as well when we were ordering like, what's your most popular one? They said the peanut butter one and that was amazing it's the nicest like cold iced coffee i've ever had <laughs> and i'm so good because you can't just like walk up and grab this coffee like you have to go through the whole process of queue and everything and i honestly want another one already it was so so good um just like the flavor i thought it sounded a bit weird like a peanut butter coffee but the flavor wasn't like super strong it was like a subtle peanut butter flavor and yeah, it just was so good. And the coffee was lovely. Like there was no bitterness to it or anything. For now though, we're gonna try our Gideon's cookies. I'm actually dying to see if these live up to the hype. We got four cookies because we're gonna share with our parents as well. Um, but like fancy. they look massive. Oh, it's fancy, look. Guys, check in the box. One of the ones we got is the one that you can only get in the morning, which is the coffee cake cookie. You can get like dark coffee cake in the evening. Leg shadows. <laughs> Maybe they're just coming for tails. Yeah. Okay, back to the cookies. Mm, it's like the texture's so odd. I feel like we'll try them all and then we can rank them. It's just a lucky dip because we can't see what's inside. <laughs> right, next we've got pistachio. It's got like some chocolate bits on it as well. That's very nice. Okay. I, like that mm, I like that one. And there, you can see there's like um, little bits of sea salt and stuff on the cookie as well. Right, we're trying the original now. This one also has sea salt on it. That's like I could barely eat more than this. The salt, like there is a little bit of salt when you get it is nice because yeah. it cuts through it, but it's a nice chocolate hit if you're looking for that, but I think you would struggle to eat the whole thing. All right, we're trying the peanut butter crunch, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. They did actually have a special peanut butter one that was like the cookie of the month or something, but this is the original one. It's very <laughs> peanut buttery. It's very peanut buttery. I mean, surprise, nice but it's nice. Okay, now we have to, I was just thinking about my rankings. Yeah. I was like, now we have to rank them. Okay. Pistachio first. Same. I think the pistachio one was the nicest one, which actually surprised me. That was kind of like a last minute add-on. Number two, maybe actually the coffee one for me. Coffee cinnamon yeah. cake, so the coffee cake cookie. I don't know, they're all so different, it's very hard to Yeah, drink. and then I don't know between the peanut butter and the original. Maybe the peanut butter first and then the original. I did like the original, but I just felt like I'd barely it's be able to eat it. Yeah. But then you're not as big a fan of peanut yeah, butter so as I am. Yeah, so I put the other one first. So you do it the other way? Yeah. So the original third and the peanut butter fourth, and I'd do it the opposite way. But yeah, I think we both agree pistachio is the best. But to be honest, my favorite thing was coffee. Coffee, yeah, the coffee is <laughs> really good. I knew, like I'd seen people say it was good, but I didn't realize how good. And actually for me, the coffee ranks higher than all the cookies. Mm -hmm. Also, right, do you think that it's worth the hype? If you walk in like we did. So no. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I so like, if you don't have to queue like everybody else does. But I think standing in the rain for like half an hour, it's not worth that. But like, I wouldn't be devastated if I didn't get to yeah. try them again yeah, this trip. Exactly. So we're just heading over to the pool now. So for reference, our place is just straight ahead where you can see like the green building, that's us. We're in 1722. So this is kind of like the 16 area now, 16, 20, 21. And we're gonna walk up to the main pool. We do have a pool beside us. That is the Miller's Road Pool, I think. And um, that has a hot tub and everything, it's really nice. 
but we wanted to go up and check out the main pool. We're probably going to go back to the jacuzzi tonight because actually it was so nice last night. My mum and Rachel didn't come, so I think they're going to come tonight as it was so nice. And uh, we met some people there that were saying that uh, the Miller's Road pool, like they never really come to kick you out, even though it closes at 11. I guess if you're up in the main pool, they probably do, you know, enforce the closure. But yeah, the Miller's Road pool, we were there till like half 11 and sort of, there was nobody around, like nobody came to tell us to get out of the pool or anything. And the hot tub is so nice, like it's proper warm. And it's lovely in the evening because when you get out of the hot tub, you're not freezing, like it's still warm, but it's not crazy hot either. I feel like during the day, it might be a bit hot to be in the hot tub, but we might try it out at the main pool now anyway. Mum and dad are already down by the pool. It's so pretty here, like it feels like a proper resort. You can see there's some people out golfing just always feel so calm and I really do like the Miller's Road area so we're normally staying on Peninsula Road just further down this road here that's always been our favorite now it is good because uh, if you see that bus stop over there through the trees that's where the bus will stop on its first stop on the way back from the park so it is handy staying there because you're right beside your place like on the first stop so you can literally get off straight away and then if you're looking to go to the parks you just walk here to the hospitality house and you're the last stop so it works out pretty well for that but on miller's road like we've just been getting the bus from our stop which is the second last stop and then when we come back we've been getting off up peninsula road and just walking so we're gonna go into the goods food to go and get our drinks rachel we're gonna get our drinks yeah we brought our mugs with us so we're gonna go in and refill them in here we are a little bit sad that the two resorts we've been to haven't had the freestyle machines and um, they did have them when we went to Riviera and when we went to Grand Floridian so I'm hoping they're gonna change them all because it's so handy they do have Powerade here but they don't have the vitamin water that we really like I think I'm just gonna go for a Coke Zero they've got these cute little paddle bike things that yeah, I guess you can go around the resort on we saw some people coming around on the regular bikes as well you can see there the pool hours are 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. We're actually a bit surprised that it's so late. Like 10 a.m. seems quite late to open. Oh yeah, Riviera was seven. I don't remember. I think Animal Kingdom was the same though. It was 10. We are heading into Animal Kingdom. <laughs> oh, I honestly travel with a bunch of kids. It's great though. Uh, we're heading into Animal Kingdom. We're going to Tiffin's for dinner. We had great crack by the pool actually. The slide is so much fun at Old Key West. I can't believe we've never been on it before. It is about quarter to four. We're gonna head on over to the Nomad Lounge. Chill there for a little bit. Our reservation's in about 30 minutes for Tiffin's. So uh, my parents haven't been to the Nomad Lounge and we love it, it's so nice in there. So hopefully we can get in there and get a seat, relax, maybe have a little cocktail and then have our dinner at Tiffin's. We're just stopping off for a photo at the Tree of Life. They have this little queue line here on the right and they have two photo pass photographers getting the Tree of Life photo, so it should be pretty quick. So I've just checked us in at Tiffin's and now we're going to see if we can get into the Nomad Lounge. Right behind you guys. Oh, this is cool. We checked in super early for our reservation, but actually they text us within like two minutes to say that our table was ready. So we skipped the Nomad Lounge and actually come straight into Tiffin's. We got a real menu as well. I haven't had a real menu in a while. I think our favorite out of the three was the first one over here. My second favorite was probably the IPA. And then ales just aren't really my thing. So it's kind of an unfair competition. Well, that's this one. Bread? Yeah. Oh God, uh, Focaccio. No, she doesn't have Focaccio. <laughs> it's bread. Does anyone else like literally forget immediately after they yeah. put food down what they've said it is? <laughs> but anyway, this bread has some sort of molasses, drizzle, olive oil type thing. And she told us to mix it as well. You nearly know, smells like Christmas cake. Doesn't it? So, again, is that maybe from the syrup? Mm. It smells like Christmas cake. So it was a split decision on the bread. I liked it. It does smell like Christmas cake, kind of, or pudding. It smells more like pudding. Um, but it doesn't taste exactly like pudding, because I don't really like Christmas pudding. Mam liked it, but she didn't like the drizzle, and then Dad liked it. You liked both as well. Yeah, that was good. Mm. Rachel like did not like it. You thought it tasted like brats? Mm -hmm. It's a no from me. <laughs> Our food has arrived. 
The surf and turf looks delicious. It smells amazing. And my mom actually got the tofu dish, which also looks amazing. And we got the lobster mac and cheese to share. Dad and Rachel also both got the surf and turf. And the smell at this table right now is just insane. We're just sat in Satuli Canteen. Our meal at Tiffin's was exceptional. It was amazing. It's the best meal that we had all trip. I know I said that last night, when we went to Wine Bar George, but Tiffin's trumped it. It was so good. Like every single thing on my plate was amazing. Um, we've come to Tilly Canteen though for dessert. <laughs> um, I just didn't fancy, like, not that I didn't fancy anything on the Tiffin's menu, but just I love this dessert. So um, myself, Dad and Rachel have got the cheesecake dessert and then my mom has got herself a Mickey sandwich. We just popped into Starbucks, myself and dad got a coffee. Dad got his extra hot as usual, caramel macchiato, and then I went for the salted caramel cream cold brew with extra foam. I'm talking super fast because I'm about to run out of memory. We have just made it to a not rainy Epcot, but it has been raining <laughs> all day. Uh, we just seem to have found a nice little break in the rain clouds, but we've got our ponchos at the ready just in case. We are heading over to the land. It is, it's a lovely temperature today. It's been so hot the last two days, but today is lovely. And obviously it's just been raining all day, so I guess that's helped with the temperature. Uh, but we're heading over to the Land Pavilion because we're going to Garden Grill, which I'm very, very excited for. My parents haven't been there before, but we really enjoyed it back in 2019. We also haven't done any sort of character meal or like interaction or anything while we've been here so we're kind of excited to have a bit of that with our garden grill dinner <laughs> i caught that on camera dad yeah trying to headbutt your daughter <laughs> So they actually still have the portable charger machines for the fuel rods where you can swap them out. Now they definitely don't have as many as they used to, but you still see them around. So I'm gonna give mine a little swap out. And there we go. Thank you. It's been so long. We've waited like two and a half years to come back and see you again. I know, and now we're here. Yay! <laughs> I love how they do the bowls and the plates here. It makes a hidden Mickey. Our server just brought us the bread and the garden salad. Both of them look amazing. And also you get soft drinks included as well. Okay, pretend it never happened. Oh, I wonder where he went. I wonder. Oh my god, there he is! <laughs> we just got our main meal now. Oh, and there's Pluto! Hi, Pluto! You know that dessert was coming, is that why you've come here? <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad! Happy birthday to Dad! Yay! <laughs> Just throw it straight in. <laughs> Go and blow your candle out! Yeah, you can't eat it first! Oh my god! <laughs> You're just gonna start eating! <laughs> we thoroughly enjoyed our character experience at Garden Grill. The food was amazing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future Disney vlogs. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.